Malaysia Airlines flight with 239 people on board, including four Americans, has gone missing. Airlines flight MH370 disappeared. The flight had 239 passengers on board. It's been eight years since the Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 disappeared. The disappearance of flight MH370, analyzing the unresolved mystery of the missing Malaysian Airlines plane. On March 8, 2014, Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 vanished from the skies, along with 239 people on board. It was one of the most baffling and mysterious aviation incidents in history. How could a modern airliner disappear without a trace in the age of advanced technology and global surveillance? What happened to the plane, its passengers, and its crew? Where did it go, and why? For more than seven years, investigators, experts, and journalists have tried to answer these questions using every available tool and resource. They have searched millions of square kilometers of ocean, analyzed thousands of pieces of data, and examined hundreds of scenarios and theories. Yet, despite their efforts, the mystery remains unsolved. The fate of MH370 is still unknown. The whereabouts of the wreckage are still undiscovered. The reasons for the disappearance are still unclear. In this video, we will explore the unresolved mystery of MH370. We will follow the timeline of events leading up to the disappearance, examine the search and rescue operation that followed, review the various theories and speculations that emerged, and highlight the unanswered questions that persist. We will also look at the technical aspects of the investigation, the conspiracy theories that have circulated, the impact on aviation safety and security measures, and the human stories behind the tragedy. Join us as we delve into the enigma of MH370, the disappearance of flight MH370, analyzing the unresolved mystery of the missing Malaysian Airlines plane. Before we delve into the mystery of MH370, let us first learn more about the airline that operated the flight, Malaysia Airlines. Malaysia Airlines is the flag carrier of Malaysia and a member of the One World Airline Alliance. The company, Malaysia Airlines Berhad, or MAB, commenced operations as the national carrier on 1st of September 2015, when Malaysian Airlines System, or MAS, was dissolved and ceased operations. However, the airline's mystery goes back much further than that. Malaysia Airlines traces its roots to Malayan Airways Limited, which was founded in Singapore in the 1930s and flew its first commercial flight in 1947. It was then renamed as Malaysian Airways after the formation of the independent country, Malaysia, in 1963. In 1965, Singapore broke away from Malaysia and formed its own city-state. The airline was then renamed again as Malaysia Singapore Airlines, or MSA, but this partnership did not last long. In 1972, the airline split into two separate entities, Singapore Airlines and Malaysian Airlines System, or MAS. MAS grew rapidly in the following decades, expanding its fleet, network, and reputation. It became one of of Asia's most high-profile airlines, winning numerous awards from the aviation industry, such as being crowned the world's five-star airline by Skytrax multiple times. It also served as a critical enabler to connect Malaysia to the world, while simultaneously integrating the nation. Malaysia Airlines operates flights from its home base, Kuala Lumpur International Airport, and offers connectivity across the globe, including Europe, the Middle East, Australia, North and South Asia, and Southeast Asia. The airline's fleet consists of Airbus A330s or 300s, Boeing 737-800s, and Airbus A350 XWBs. Malaysia Airline embodies the incredible diversity of Malaysia, capturing its rich traditions, cultures, cuisines, and warm hospitality on board. The award-winning flight attendants who embody this wear the traditional sarong kabaya as their uniform. It was designed to reflect pride in Malaysian traditions and culture. Flight MH370 was one of the many routine and unremarkable flights that Malaysia Airlines operated every day. It was scheduled to fly from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing on March 8, 2014. It had 227 passengers and 12 crew members on board. It was supposed to be a smooth and safe journey, but it turned out to be anything but that. Timeline The chronology of MH370's disappearance starts from its arrival at Kuala Lumpur International Airport from Beijing on March 7, 2014 at 16.41 local time. This Boeing 777-200ER, which had been in service since 2002, underwent routine maintenance and refueling at Gate C-1, preparing for its next flight. The crew of 12 was led by Captain Zahiri Ahmad Shah, an experienced pilot with over 18,000 flying hours, 
while the passengers hailed from 15 different countries. By 2332 local time, MH370 was set to embark on its scheduled journey from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing, navigating a northeastward course over the South China Sea and the Gulf of Tonkin. The aircraft lifted off from Kuala Lumpur International Airport at 0041 on March 8, 2014, maintaining a steady speed and altitude. At 1.19 local time, the co-pilot Farik Abdul Habid made the last contact with air traffic control in Kuala Lumpur. The narrative becomes chilling at 1.21 local time when MH370 mysteriously vanished from civilian radar screens with no distress signals or indications of trouble. However, military radar continued tracking the plane for another hour, capturing its erratic movements and altitude changes. Speculations arose about these bizarre patterns. Were they a deliberate attempt to evade detection? or symptoms of mechanical failure or cockpit struggles. The last military radar detection occurred at 0222 local time as MH370 flew over Sumatra, Indonesia. However, the journey didn't end there. MH370 continued to send periodic signals or handshakes to a satellite network operated by Imarsat for several hours despite no contact with anyone on the ground. Although these signals did not reveal the aircraft's location, speed, or direction, they shed light on the distance between the aircraft and the satellite. By examining these handshakes and other factors, experts traced two possible arcs stretching from Central Asia to the Southern Indian Ocean, indicating MH370's last communication with the satellite network. The final communication happened at 0819 local time. After that, the aircraft disappeared without a trace. Despite this detailed chronology, we're still left with the ultimate question. What happened to MH370? To seek an answer, we must delve into the various theories and speculations that emerged following its disappearance. Search In the wake of the mysterious disappearance of MH370, a colossal multinational search and rescue operation was undertaken. The mammoth task could be likened to finding a needle in a haystack as the mission spanned three major phases – surface search, underwater search, and debris recovery. Starting off, the initial search for MH370 on the surface lasted from March 8, 2014 to April 28, 2014. The urgency was palpable as multiple nations like Australia, China, India, Japan, Malaysia, New Zealand, South Korea, the UK, and the US launched aircraft and ships hoping to find survivors. The scale of search was astounding, stretching across the Gulf of Thailand, the Strait of Malacca, the Andaman Sea, the Bay of Bengal, and the Southern Indian Ocean an area about the size of India. Despite the concerted efforts and analysis of satellite imagery by various agencies, the quest met with no success, concluding this first phase. With the surface search proving fruitless, the next phase kicked off on October 5, 2014. This underwater expedition was coordinated by Australia's Joint Agency Coordination Center, or JAC. Technological might was summoned with various vessels employing advanced sonar systems, aiming to cover two distinct areas based on the analysis of satellite communications. Despite facing hurdles like deep water depths, rugged seafloor terrain, and limited battery life of sonar equipment, the search remained relentless. Unfortunately, this endeavor was halted on January 17, 2017, without any trace of the missing aircraft. A private company, Ocean Infinity, later resumed the search in January 2018, but their exhaustive efforts also met with no success. Finally, the third phase commenced with the debris recovery operation on July 29, 2015, when a piece of marine debris was found on Reunion Island. Since then, over 30 pieces suspected to be from MH370 have been discovered in various locations around the Indian Ocean. Numerous agencies and experts from countries like France, Australia, and Malaysia were involved in identifying, verifying, and tracing back the drift paths of the debris. However, this phase two did not provide conclusive evidence about what happened to MH370 or its passengers and crew. In the end, this epic resource-intensive rescue operation, the most expensive search in aviation history, unfortunately, did not yield any trace of MH370 or its passengers and crew. The myriad of theories and speculations that emerged in the aftermath of the disappearance only add to the mystery. So while we have a detailed account of the efforts, the enigma of what truly happened to MH370 continues to persist. Questions The strange loss of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 on March 8, 2014 is one of the biggest puzzles in recent air travel history. Even after a lot of detective work, we still don't know what happened to the plane, where it is, why it went missing, 
or who is to blame? These answers are very important for keeping airline passengers and their families safe and just. What happened to MH370? The plane was flying from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing with 239 people when it changed its path, turned off its communication tools, and flew for several hours before likely crashing into the southern Indian Ocean. But no pieces of the plane or its wreck have been found, even after many countries and groups searched for it. We don't know why the plane changed its path or what happened to it in the end. Where is MH370 now? The plane is probably somewhere along a curved line called the Seventh Arc. This line shows the last time the plane talked with a satellite. But this line goes over a big part of the ocean that is deep, far away, and hard to reach. Several searches underwater haven't found the plane or its black boxes, which might help solve the mystery. The official search stopped in 2018, but some private groups kept looking. Why did MH370 go missing? There are many guesses about why MH370 went missing, from problems with the plane, the pilot ending his own life, hijacking, terrorism, a computer attack, to even being taken by aliens. But none of these ideas have been proven or disproven by the evidence we have. Not having clear answers has led to rumors and false information, causing pain and anger for the families of those lost. MH370's loss is a hard and puzzling case that makes us question how we understand air travel technology, how people act, and how countries work together. It also makes us think about the value of human life, how we deal with not knowing and loss, and how we look for truth and justice in a world where everyone is connected. As long as we don't find MH370, these questions will keep bothering us. Conspiracies The vanishing of MH370 remains one of aviation's greatest unsolved mysteries. With no trace of the plane or its passengers found despite extensive searches, a plethora of theories spanning the spectrum from plausible to outlandishly bizarre has come to life, each attempting to explain this baffling disappearance. Imagine extraterrestrial beings abducting the flight with their advanced radar evading technology, intent on studying human passengers or for some other undisclosed purpose. This theory finds tenuous support in alleged UFO sightings and historical instances of alien abductions. Or consider a more earthly yet equally unsettling scenario in which a government or rogue faction deliberately diverted or destroyed the flight, then lied about it. Trust in authorities was undermined by the seeming inconsistencies and delays in the official investigation, alongside prevailing geopolitical tensions. The idea is that the powers that be could be hiding a secret cargo, a military experiment, a terrorist plot or even a diplomatic crisis. A third theory, almost dystopian in its implications, involves the flight being remotely hijacked or hacked. This idea posits that modern planes' electronic systems are vulnerable to external agents, hackers, terrorists, or intelligence agencies who could have diverted the plane to an unknown location or crashed it into the sea. Then there are those who believe in the supernatural. They propose that the plane's disappearance was the result of a wormhole, a time warp, a dimensional portal, or a divine act. Proponents believe that these phenomena, which defy the laws of nature and science, can influence human events in mysterious ways. Lastly, the secretive society known as the Illuminati gets a nod. According to this theory, the plane was linked to the Illuminati's alleged control over world affairs, suggesting that it could have been transporting important members or enemies of the Illuminati or was part of a larger scheme to establish a new world order. So why the fascination with these theories? The allure is multifaceted. Human curiosity is naturally piqued by unsolved mysteries with conspiracy theories offering alternative narratives that fill gaps or challenge official accounts. They also offer emotional comfort, allowing people to cope with feelings of grief, anger, fear, or hopelessness. Cognitive bias is another factor. We're hardwired to seek patterns, meanings, and causes in complex situations. Lastly, these theories provide a sense of belonging and validation, feeding off group norms, values, and beliefs. Impact. When Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 vanished mid-flight on March 8, 2014, with 239 souls on board, it left behind one of the greatest enigmas in aviation history. Traveling from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing, the aircraft seemingly dropped off the face of the Earth, its fate unknown despite intense searching in the southern Indian Ocean. This incident sent shockwaves through the aviation industry, triggering a renewed focus on the safety and security of air travel. In the wake of MH370's disappearance, the aviation world took a hard look at its protocols. Global flight tracking was redefined with the International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO, a UN body that governs international air travel, setting a new standard in 2016. They ruled that airlines must track their flights every 15 minutes, and in the event of distress, this becomes every minute. 
Some airlines went a step further, voluntarily adopting advanced tracking systems like Satellite-Based Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, or ADS-B, providing real-time location updates every few seconds. Communication protocols also came under scrutiny. In the same year, the ICAO mandated that aircraft needed two long-range communication systems to maintain continuous contact with air traffic control. Some airlines further improved their communication processes by requiring pilots to report their position more frequently or using text messages for regular communication instead of voice calls. The MH370 incident exposed the challenges of managing large-scale, multinational search and rescue operations in remote areas. To tackle this, countries and agencies increased their cooperation through establishing regional search and rescue centers, sharing resources, running joint exercises, and standardizing their protocols. Screening processes for passengers and crew members were also enhanced, with airlines increasing security checks before boarding, introducing more rigorous baggage checks, and improving psychological evaluation of pilots and other crew members. Airlines even equipped aircraft with distress tracking devices that automatically share the location and status of the aircraft in an emergency. Human Aspect Flight MH370 wasn't just a plane. It was a microcosm of the world. On board were 239 individuals from 14 different countries, each a unique tale of dreams, ambitions, and achievements. They were family members, friends, colleagues. They were people on business trips, holiday makers, or visiting family. Some were seeking new opportunities, while others were homeward bound after time spent abroad. Among the passengers was also Dr. Yu Chin Lee, a notable engineer who had just completed his doctorate at Cambridge University. He was newly appointed to geotechnical position in Beijing. A man of incredible talent and potential, his wife, Mingye Ma, was left behind. Then there was Paul Weeks, a mechanical engineer hailing from New Zealand who had made Perth, Australia his home along with his wife, Danica, and their two little boys, Lincoln and Jack. He was en route to a new job in Mongolia's mining industry. Poignantly, he left behind his wedding ring and watch with his wife as keepsakes in the event something happened to him. These stories are a handful among many, painting a poignant picture of the lives abruptly interrupted on MH370. Their families, left in a limbo of grief and uncertainty, show remarkable courage in their ongoing quest for truth. It's in their memory that we keep seeking answers, reminding us of the human cost behind the mystery of MH370.